just figured that since I did a one year review recently of my Husqvarna 455 Rancher, I figured I would go ahead and do a four month weigh in of the Husqvarna 562 XP after all that time of good hard work. And I actually have to say my initial impression of this saw was definitely proven wrong by no surprise this saw right here. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I bought this thing fully expecting to end up taking it back in the end because I never thought that I would ever get used to the auto-tune system nor did I ever think I would like the auto-tune on this saw but seeing how I have been cutting wood through a variety of temperatures and everything especially back at the other wood pile um, the, the saw's auto-tune feature has come in handy in more ways than I can say and I actually have to say it's it's pretty impressive it makes me want to try the other five series saws that Husky makes maybe in the distant distant future when finances are hopefully better so this thing very quickly if not immediately swooped in over the 455 and became my go-to saw and as you've seen in woodpile videos in the past it's pretty obvious why that is frankly guys i've had absolutely no issues with this saw if i haven't already said I will admit it did take a bit of getting used to as I'm a little old-fashioned with my tools I'm used to having a fully adjustable carburetor that you adjust with a little flathead screwdriver you know I'm used to that so this thing was a hell of a change over the 455 Rancher but I'm glad I made that change because even though I like the 455 and it's a good saw this saw just obviously outperforms it in so many ways I mean it's a lot easier to work with. Uh, you got the straps on top to have access to the air filter. There's three of them. Two on this side and one on the other. Same thing, got a little primer purge bulb. Toolless fuel and bar oil caps along with a window on the back so you can keep track of stu stuff like that which I've found comes in real good handy when you're cutting up a lot of wood really quickly. And you also have the new uh, kill switch style. You uh, pull this up to choke it. That's high idle. That click was the high idle and push it down to kill the engine. And uh, yeah, you obviously have your chain brake. All the fun safe stuff that they have on this saw. Very good chain brake by the way. <laughs> Got a decompression valve on top that I've never really had to use. Really the boss man was the only one to use it when he tried to use this thing because he'd never used one before. You also have your chain tensioner on this side. Loosen the two bar nuts and go from there. And those bar nuts are captured bar nuts so that means they're uh, kind of sort of built into this bar and chain cover which I is really really neat and definitely comes in handy especially if you're like me where you've lost nuts, small nuts and bolts like these off these saws in the past. I don't know what it is about the woods or the forest or the piles or something. It just They just eat up nuts and bolts. So these are really, really neat features to have, especially on a professional chainsaw like this. And you also have the original 20-inch bar that has seen a lot of chains. It's got a new Oregon 72 driver on it that has yet to see wood. And, uh, yeah, I just haven't had anything to cut recently because the boss man's done for the season. Don't get me wrong, guys, I definitely still have this 24-inch bar that fits the 562 XP just fine, and I'm never going to get rid of it. But really, I would rather leave the 24-inch cutting to this bad boy 066 right here. I've also never really had an issue starting it, you know. As I said, it took a little bit of getting used to, but really... It starts up just fine right now. I'd say the only time that I would do my own special method, and this worked on a 555 that I had years ago, was I would just pull this lever up to push and choke it, and then push it back down, and that sets the high idle. And if it's been sitting for like 25 to like 30 minutes, that's when you might want to do that. So because of my little starting methods, really, I've never had any issues hot starting or cold starting. This thing has always been been a very reliable saw and starts up very very quickly. I have pretty much no complaints about it other than the 
smaller than normal spark plug and the fact that I had to mod the air filter even though this is the Mark II filter because it was still pulling in a little bit of gunk but with the fix that I've shown in a past video which I'll uh, link in the description below if you guys want to see it I've fixed that issue and it's no longer an issue so yeah pretty much no issues with this chainsaw if I haven't already said it, it's gotten to the point where I like this saw so much that even if it was out of warranty, I would still pay to get it fixed, uh, even if it died tomorrow, because that is genuinely just how much I like this saw. And that's pretty much it, boys. I don't know what else can be said. I hope all of you guys had a fun, safe, and awesome Easter. Uh, keep a lookout for this weekend, hopefully Friday, for the commemorative video for 300 plus subs, guys. Again, thank you so much for that. You guys are awesome, and I will see you then, guys. Take care and have an awesome week.